Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this one I will be showing you how to do this really beautiful reversible ribbed stitch and you can see that lovely texture that you build up with this two row repeat. It's really really simple and we're pretty much just going to jump straight in. The only thing I would say is that this is an amazing one for chunky yarns and it would work up so quickly and definitely go up a hook size from whatever your chosen yarn recommends just so that your completed piece has a really nice drape to it and it's not too stiff. You can see I've gone up a hook size and it's really nice and flexible. But yeah, we're just going to build up this beautiful two row repeat ribbed stitch and it's totally reversible. It is very slightly different on each side but so, so pretty. It's suitable for absolutely any skill level, so we're just going to jump straight in. So you're going to start with your slip knot on your hook and you're going to chain any number. So whatever width you want your project to be, that's the number that you will chain. There is no multiple for this particular pattern. So yarn over, pull through, that's one, two, three, four, five. So if you just complete whatever amount of chains you want. So now we're going to work back along our chain and we're going to start into the third chain back from the hook and you're going to do a UK half treble or in the US these will be your half double. So yarn over, insert into that third chain along, yarn over and pull up, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Half treble in the next, so again yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three and you're just going to put one half treble, UK half treble, into every single chain all the way along your work. Yet again our little supervisor has returned and there she is she always likes to come and just double check that I'm doing things correctly. So if you continue your half trebles all the way to the end and I will meet you there in just a second. I'm pretty much back now, I've just got one final one to do in that very last chain and then I'm going to turn my work around and straight into this very first stitch where our working end is coming up from as you can see. We're going to insert our hook through there, through the hole of the stitch, yarn over and pull up and yarn over and pull through both. And that is our first UK double of this row. So this row is going to be UK doubles or US singles if you like and they're going to be done into the back loop only of each of the stitches. So you can see we've got this V across the top of all of our stitches and we're going to be working into that back loop on each stitch, apart from our first and last stitches which will be done through the hole just for a bit of security. So we've got our double for the top of our first stitch here, so now we're going to start the back loop only ones into the very next stitch. So insert your hook through the back loop, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both and again into the next stitch through the back loop UK double or US single and you're just going to put one UK double into the back loop of every single stitch until you get towards the end which again is where I will meet you in just a second. That's how we're looking at the minute, doesn't look like much until you build up quite a few rows on this one. At this point we're going to turn, insert your hook straight through the first stitch again, yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through both and then we need a half treble height stitch. So we're doing what we've just done and then we're going to chain one as well and that just gives us a half treble height stitch but without any gapping. At this point now we're going to work all the way along into every single stitch and again we're going to be doing back loop only 
So straight into that next stitch you will yarn over, back loop, yarn over and pull up and we're back to our half trebles so yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, back loop in the next stitch and repeat that once again the entire way along your work and I will meet you at the other end in just a second. Again I'm pretty much all the way along you can see I have got that final stitch to work into. I would 100% recommend using stitch markers to mark the first stitch of each row just until you get really confident because this blanket slash scarf you really want those perfect straight edges. So I've got one last stitch here but as I said before the first and last stitch of each row I won't be working in the back loop I will be working through the whole of the stitch. So half treble into that very final stitch going through the whole of the V. At this point again I will turn and we're going to switch back to the back loop only UK doubles. So again through that first stitch yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through both and pop your stitch marker in and then you're going to do your back loop UK doubles or US singles and those are the only two rows that you're going to need to repeat and you're going to do them as many times as you want to until your project is the size that you want it to be. I will leave a link in the description box for changing colours for anyone that might need it just to show you my preferred method I suppose just for anyone that isn't confident with changing colours yet. So you will repeat those rows again and again and you will build a really beautifully textured stitch. So you'll be working through the whole of the stitch for your final one. You can see I've got one final stitch here. If you've been using a stitch marker it will be extremely easy to locate and you know that you'll be getting those perfect straight edges. So once you've built up quite a few rows you can see that beautiful texture that you're starting to build and it would make the most beautiful snuggly scarf or blanket and you can see the lovely straight edges that you get as well. So that is it for the tutorial itself. You will just repeat that as many times as you need to and I will see you for another tutorial really really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.